Hey guys, Chill Chaos from Serious Gamers here, and I'll be showing you how to make an elevator today in this tutorial. So right here I have a trap door that falls down and you're stuck on the bottom, and you can't get up until uh, you take the elevator upwards. So it's a nice little addition to any level, you can use it for any purpose, and it's very simple to make. And we'll go about making that right now. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is set up this little base up here so we can attach the winch to it. And that's very simple. A little nifty trick that you can do is you set up some stone or anything for that matter and draw it out. And what you could do is you can add some dark matter but shrink it down as much as you can and just pop the dark matter in the middle of your stone or anywhere and you now have a floating stone. It's a little nifty trick you can use for anything. So floating stone without making it look ugly. Okay, next thing is to build the base for your elevator. Actually build the elevator hole in itself. You're going to want to make the top and bottom of the elevator shaft. So you're going to take that and draw a line out. And then you're going to copy it. And then bring it down. Slowly so you make it, uh, make sure it's all lined up. And you also get the height you want for the elevator. And you're going to paste that down. What you're then going to do is you're going to go back into uh, your tool bag and grab some more stone for the back of it. And you're going to shrink it down to about a 1. Well, it's definitely a 1. As you can see on the left hand side over there, you can see it's a 1. Okay. So you're going to shrink it to a 1. And you're going to try and match it up so that it just about fits. And that looks like you can see on the left that it does. It catches the bottom, catches the top. Now they're stuck together. And just make sure. No, it's not. Okay. If that happens, no worries. Just line it up and glue it together. And same thing happens. So that's fine. Okay, now you have that. You're going to want to add some front doors to your elevator. So we'll go back to the stone. They're not necessarily doors, but little pillars, I guess you can call them. Okay, you're going to want to line it up directly in the front and just bring it down just a tad, just so it connects. You don't want to make it any more than just connecting. And you can do the exact on this side, exact same thing. If you make it any more than just connecting, you're going to eat away that bottom base and then your guy's going to fall out. That's actually kind of weird how it fell, but that's no worries. As you can see, it's all connected. Oh, there is something there. I don't know what's there, but something is there. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we'll continue. So you have that. You simply just build the top and the bottom, and you connect them together by building the back, and then you just add two fronts to it, two little pillars in the front, as I just went over. That's extremely easy. Okay, so you have your little elevator thing, contraption, death cart, whatever, whatever you think of the elevators. If you want, you could spruce it up. Spruce it up. Some nice things to add to it are actually lights, because as you can see, it's very dark in there. So what I actually enjoy doing is adding a little bit of a lantern in there, makes it get that eerie feeling. It looks kind of nice too. And just attach it up there. And if you want, you could take uh, some more wood or anything. For example, uh, we'll take the uh, basic polyester and polyester, yes and shrink that down to make it completely flat and put it in the front area and just draw a little line over it that looks nice actually my mistake you're gonna make sure when you put the lamp in that you uh, have it so it's set up a couple back that way it's not right in the front, so when you want to block it off and cover it so it looks more like it's a lamp in there, it's back a few. So my apologies to that. So you're going to hit R2 to back it up a little bit. That way it's in there. And also that way when you go and cover it uh, with the polyester, it doesn't chip it out. It just looks like a little lamp which is a lot nicer. I apologize about that. Okay, of course you're going to need to glue that on, so you're going to go to pop it and glue it on. And you have a elevator cart right there. Okay, the next part is the part that may be a little bit tricky, but that's fine. We'll get through it. Okay, we're going to move it all the way to the bottom, which is good, and we're going to try and make sure it's aligned with that, which it is for the most part. 
if you really need to, you can do a little bit like reference. Take some stone and go straight down. Actually, really, we, you'd want to get it closer. Take some stone, move it straight down, and that way you know where you have to go according to it. So we'd have to move this over a little bit. And that way, now it's directly under it. And then you can delete that stone. That just makes sure when it goes up and down, it's not all wobbly and such. So, we'll go there, and we'll go to the, uh, the piston, which we're going to need for this. And you're going to put it right in the middle over there, and bring it all the way down. And try and get it so you're attached to the top of that base. Which is fine. If it's not centered after you attach it, you can always swing it over and try and make it centered, which is fine. Okay, you're then going to hit the B on the, the uh, square and go to tweak, and you're going to go to, is it stiff? And you're going to be like, yes, it is stiff. Okay, you then want the minimum length to be extremely uh, small numerical value. We're probably going to set it at close to 1, um, just so it goes all the way up top. And you want to leave the maximum length what it is, because that means whatever it took to hit the ground. That's the preset for it. So we'll leave it at that, and as it stiff is fine. And as you can see, it should go up and down. Yes, accordingly. Okay, now for the idea if you want it to be automated. You have an elevator there, and of course you can always just let it go up and down, and you can always try and catch it as it comes up and down, but that's no fun. Okay, what I suggest doing is pausing time. And first off, setting the elevator settings to 7 seconds for the timing. You don't need a pause, but 7 seconds works fine. It takes it just enough time, just a, uh, a little bit of time for it to actually work complete. Okay. What you're then going to do is when it hits the bottom, or actually at any time, you're going to pause it. And you're going to go into your tools, and you're going to want to grab the sensor switch right there. Oh, well, the sensor switch. And you're going to shrink it a little bit so it doesn't look too cluttered and you're going to attach it to that back wall. And then you're going to go to the pop it menu and bring it straight up and attach it to that. Now this should not move unless that's triggered, which is good. It's not moving. We're then going to go tweak the sensor switch and set it to direction, which is fine. Now, as you can see right here, the way it is right now, direction would have it so it's up top if no one's in it. We don't want that, so we have to go to invert it which means it will be on the bottom if no one's in it which is good because if it's on the bottom no one's in it when we get in it will bring us up which is exactly what we want and we're going to set the trigger radius to just the elevator okay so right there that's your elevator you can then jump in it and once you get in it, it takes you up and it stops once it hits the uh... whatever predetermined pre set uh... you had for the piston and it won't go back down unless you get out which is fine. Uh, you can do a couple of things to spruce it up, I guess. Uh, one thing I did on mine was just to add some polyester right here to sort of like make it look like a keypad, which is always nice, I guess, visually appealing. And it looks like a little keypad. You can add some stickers to it. Um, and that's pretty much how you make an elevator in Little Big Planet. I hope this tutorial helps you, and if you have ideas or suggestions for another video, please let me know, and I'll be glad to take a look at it and hopefully help out. So, this is all from Chill Chaos from Serious Gamers, hoping you a great day, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Also, I may do something crazy if I hit a thousand subscribers soon, so why not help join the cause by subscribing? You can see me do something crazy. Maybe. I don't know. Take care.